This is your family's first and most important line of defense against Mother Nature. When she strikes, make sure you call the people that I trust, my family and friends at Exterior Home Solutions. Exterior Home Solutions two minute drill after Tennessee's first scrimmage of spring. Got to hear from Josh Heupel. Clearly, both sides made some plays today. But, you know, a lot of positive reviews coming out from, from you know, not only offensive guys, but defensive players. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, th this is a young team in some ways, but it's a veteran team in some ways. And I think the veterans kind of led the way and carried the day today. I mean, that defensive front should be good, right? They know what to do. I think they had, I think they had moments where they were really, really good today. Sure. But at the same time, too, a new guy like Lance Hurd, you're going to be okay at left tackle. I like some athleticism. Right. I think that's the feeling that you get coming out of that. What's interesting is Josh Heupel doesn't give a lot of names. He doesn't drop a lot of names very often. He did mention Boo Carter's name twice today yeah. in terms of showing up in scrimmage number one. Not a shock to us. A little bit surprising to hear him just flat out straight up mention his name as one of the guys who showed up. Yeah, at one point, Gaston Moore hit Mike Matthews for like an 89-yard touchdown. It was a big, big play uh, you know, uh, in the scrimmage. Yeah. The tight ends got some praise today, not just holding stays, but I asked Coach specifically about Miles Kitzelman because the more I talked to people, the more they raved about his physicality, which is something that we talk about in tomorrow's podcast, is that maybe what Kitzelman brings to the table because that's where he's probably most comfortable. Well, and he's important, you know, because and nobody's talked about him because he wasn't here, but everybody's talked about stays and everybody's talked about Ethan Davis sure. stays and those two got to stay healthy. He's the X factor. Yeah, because they haven't really been able to go three deep at, at tight end. They've kind of piece built it together with two. If he can be a factor as a third tight end, that gives them an opportunity to play two tight ends at one time. That gives them some depth there. I, I think that's a big piece of the puzzle that nobody really talks about or nobody thinks about when you look at that tight end position. So I think that's a positive. I think the other positive is you just keep hearing that they're athletic, like in the yeah. back end of the secondary, more athletic, depth at wide receiver. Um, young, got a lot to learn, long ways to go, but I think they feel like there's a pretty good foundation of things to build on with this team from a physicality and athletic standpoint. Something tells me the one theme we're going to hear the rest of spring and even in fall camp is the defensive line, the defensive line, the defensive line, which only makes Lance Hurd, John Campbell, and those O-linemen better because they're going against James Pierce, who's a freak going against a bunch of defensive linemen that are really, really good. Well, and, and I think, you know, again, we talked about it early. Was it a blessing or a curse? You know, is there a silver lining to the fact that Javante Spragans is not going to sure. spring practice? Well, the answer is yes in some ways because those young guards are getting Omar Norman Lott, Bryson Eason, Elijah Simmons, Amari Thomas – every single snap yeah. the whole time. Even the young guys like David Hobbs. Yeah, I and, mean, you and, know. and listen, as, as Glenn Ellerby said earlier this week, there are going to be some dark days, guys. Yeah. You're going to be better for it on the other other side, but there's going to be some dark days. I do think ultimately it, it helps this team. Everybody's going to ask about Nico in, in talking to people. Command, got to control, got under control, um, can do some things offensively that Tennessee wasn't able to do last year, I think is the one takeaway you're going to see about this Tennessee offense. The, the ability to improvise, check down, make plays on the fly, all those are things that I think Nico brings to the table that, that kind of was the talking point after today's scrimmage, the operation really good. I've said it. I'll continue to say it. It feels like the offense, I'm not saying it's going to be 22 as far as points and all that, but their ability to – do things on the fly more like 22 than 23. Yeah, I think it's going to be different that way. And then, and then the last takeaway, too, is that you know, you had the injury news to Cam Seldon yeah. earlier. Josh Heupel saying an opportunity for those guys. Did not slam the door on what they might do at the running back position post-spring yeah. in terms of the portal, what they might look at. That'll be something to keep an eye on moving forward. He is Brent Hubs. I'm Austin Price for the Exterior Home Solutions 2-Minute Drill.